Hello everybody and welcome back to Legend of Zelda Wind Waker. I am here in Ganon's Tower. In the previous video, I went through the boss gauntlet. Now it's time for me to go through the newly opened doorway and continue through the dungeon. I think this section is the Phantom Ganon Challenge. Actually, no, it looks like we have lots of stairs. Stairs, stairs, stairs. Why are there so many stairs? Maybe Ganondorf likes to play with the Slinky when he's not tormenting Link. Hmm, and this is a maze. I think if I go right, it leads somewhere else, so let's go left. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so, um, right and left uh, apparently are matching things. Let, let me show this to you. Remember this order. One, two, three, four. Yes, it's counting. It's very fantastic. And the King of Red Lions who has been noticeably absent throughout all of my adventures in Hyrule, has finally decided to speak up. Very strange. Like, that's the thing the King of Red Lions wants to talk about. He doesn't want to talk about Zelda being kidnapped or anything. He just wants to talk about this puzzle. So... Here we go again. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. This is going to create a warp point, and the King of Red Lions is actually going to appear. I have no idea where he came from. And don't bother asking because he's not going to explain. So if you want to, you can use this warp point here. And you can go back to the world above, solve challenges, do things up there and then immediately warp back to this location. It's very nice, very handy. So let's see, which way am I going? I think I'm going here. What you want to do is go through this room with the one, two, three, four, and then jump forward. Now we have the Phantom Ganon Challenge. Two challenges here. One is finding the real Phantom Ganon when four of them appear, and the other is Evil Ping Pong. Once he dies, his sword will fall. You want to follow the direction of the sword, so the handle pointed towards this door, which means we go here. Looks like we have more Evil Ping Pong. This is the more difficult form of evil ping pong because you have to do a spin attack to hit all of the energy balls back at Phantom Ganon. Let's see... How are you supposed to tell which one is the real Phantom Ganon? Maybe it's the one who appears behind Lake. Where is Phantom Ganon? Oh! He appeared behind my back when I wasn't paying attention. This time I'm going here. The solution to this maze is the same every single time, so if you want to cheat, just memorize the pathway. 
Something like forward, left, forward, left, right, back. And these Phantom Ganon fights are easy because you only have to hit him once in order to defeat him. I guess that means that this isn't the real Phantom Ganon, because the real Phantom Ganon is harder. Making this a Phantom Phantom Ganon. Weird. Yeah, I don't know why we have so many Phantom Ganons. You think Ganondorf would just summon like 20 Phantom Ganons and have them all attack Link at once. That would be an excellent strategy for defeating Link. And this should be the final one, right? Final one? I think you only have to fight him six times. Yes, yes, here we go! This is going to be the harder Phantom Ganon. This is the real Phantom Ganon. Oh, oh, bad timing! Oh, Cartoon Link. Try again, Cartoon Link. Try again. Go! Oh! Oh, oh! Cartoon Link, you had perfect timing earlier. Evil Ping Pong. Evil Ping Pong. Evil Ping Pong! Yes! And actually, wait a minute, that Phantom Ganon died in one hit. I thought that was the real Phantom Ganon. Well, Michael, you still have to fight the real Phantom Ganon, but for defeating that particular Phantom, Link has received the Light Arrows! These are a super fantastic item which will destroy any enemy in one hit. Well, any enemy except for the two bosses that you will meet after this area. Sounds like a really, really useful item. Thank you for the information, Bob. So, we warped all the way back over here. And where is Phantom Ganon? Here he is. There are four of them, and I don't know which one is the real Phantom Ganon. The real Phantom Ganon. Where is he? Where is he? There he is. Okay, I'm L targeting him. I am taking out the light arrows and go. One hit kills this monster. But for some reason, his sword is not destroyed. I don't know how that works. Where's his sword? There it is. What you want to do is pick up the Phantom Sword and use it here. This opens the way to another area. Go through this area and fight a bunch of enemies. We're very close to the end of the game now. You want to load up on items here. Looks like I just need more hearts. That's all I need. I just need hearts. We have enemies, but we also have light arrows, so the enemies do not pose a challenge. Notice how I said the enemies don't pose a challenge, and then the enemy managed to hit me even though he was dead. Okay, so maybe the enemies pose a MINOR challenge. Oh no, the fearsome Dark Nut! Whatever will I do? Light arrow. Alright, I'm almost at full health. And the light arrows do use up magic power, so you want to be at full magic. You're gonna need light arrows for the boss battle coming up ahead. The boss battle requires you to make nine shots with the light arrows. So you might want to get an arrow upgrade if you haven't gotten one already. I have 60 arrows at this point, so I would have to miss over 50 times in order to lose this boss battle. So I think I'm good, I'm just going to skip the second arrow upgrade. Now we have these two K 
Caped Dark Nuts. Dangerous, dangerous, dangerous. And Light Arrow. There's a fairy, which is good. If you need to get a fairy in a bottle, that's where you get the fairy in a bottle. Arrows. Now I just need more magic. More magic. Magic here. And magic there. Great. Now I am at full health, full magic, and full arrows. And ready to go through this door to fight the boss of this dungeon. 